Ali or <coughs> sorry, add to uh, Clem Frot then. Uh, so I'm here to do February's generals. <laughs> I always get so get so interested. It's happening again. Um, and later on this week, I'll be coming back and I'll be doing love readings. So if love comes out in the general, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, it's just a general. So we are under Mercury retrograde until the 20th. Um, I think we do have some of that seven planets in air at the minute. But we'll see what's going on for Leo Crown Chakra. Downloading. Um... Crown chakras like you know, so it could be there could be funky dreams going on, things like that. Um, so Leo, you're being guided by the crown chakra. So what's the blockage or the challenge? Victory and success. So spirit wants you to be victorious and successful. Blow your own trumpet. It's it's almost as if you could be getting dream. You could be getting messages via your dreams or thoughts. You know, like daydreaming, going into like daydreaming. Um. Why is this coming around now for Leo? Partnerships and alliances. Um, so it can be love, it, it might not be. It might just be friendships, people helping you out, um, that type of thing, that type of uh, issue. Like, I, I do feel that, I don't know though. I'm gonna wait before I say that. No, I'm actually just going to say it. Um, some of my Leos are keeping old of an ex's energy. Like, not wanting to let go of it. Like, keeping old tightly. Um, that won't be for everybody. But I just got it really, like, quite strong and altered it. Uh, so, a recent past, we've got the throat chakra. So, communication. Loving your numbers. We've got five, six, seven on the table now. Throat chakra. So, a lot of communication. You could have just started talking to somebody. Maybe that's why we need to release the past energy to let this new person in. Uh, we've got a lot of communication in the past. We've got another five now. Financial and material changes. So there could be a lot going on, a lot of communications. It could be partnerships. It could be to do with business and finances. Things are changing in your life. If this isn't about love, this is about finances uh, changing. Or it could be a partnership working together in order to create more finances. The challenge is to be victorious and successful. So you are being guided via the crown chakra in whatever endeavours you're taking on, whether it's love or finances. Yeah, I've got two files, which is big changes. So we've got solitude, uh, which is the hermit, Virgo. It's almost, I feel like this is a power though, because with the solitude card, I feel like that's, whilst we've been in lockdowns and all this crap that's going on, I feel like you've put it to good use. You know, like research, things like that. Um, I feel like there'll be more, more research to come. Something's growing here. And I can't tell what it is. So your power in the situation is the shadow, which is the moon. It's about releasing any fears that no longer serve you and also going up against your shadow. So spirit are saying, yeah, you can do this. And ego's saying like, well, oh, this might be getting a bit too big for me here. So if it's relationship wise, you might have commitment issues or the person you're dealing with could have commitment issues. Um, if this is like business wise, it's like you might not be living, you might not be doing it to your full potential because ego's trying to keep you safe. But spirit's got the upper hand. So it's like expand, allow yourself to expand. Outside influence for Leo. 11. My magic number, balance. So the outside influence is spirit are bringing this in balance. It is going to be balanced. So if you're the one with a commitment issue or you're the one who's feeling like you're trying to play it safe, you don't need to because it it you it is balanced. We've got a lot of major arcana here. I've got um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards on the table. Five of them are major arcana. You know, so I have no doubts in your pursuit, uh, pursuits, <laughs> pursuits. Hopes or fears that you're fulfilling your own wishes. He's got enough money there to survive, but he's still got time to smell the flowers. You know, so it's like that equal balance in life. And your outcome. Patience. The 
be patient. See, it's planted for something brilliant to blossom here. Whether it be love or finances, something is definitely blossoming. Something is, uh, yeah, I feel like you're getting your head down and taking a good long look at yourself or what you're doing, what your pursuits are. Handshakes, these alliances coming in. There's, there's people coming in that want to help or are already in that are going to help um, in some way. The same, just be patient. It's coming in. I don't feel like you're doing this on your own, though, anyway. I just want to get one more on that. Patience. It's like you've had ideas that you've been told. Yeah, see, the waiting game. So whilst you you feel like you're going around in circles, or you could be busy running around in circles, that type of thing, or you're just waiting, something is blossoming. It's just a waiting game. Just a matter of time. And that's why you've got to have patience. So yours is patience is a virtue. Because there's definitely something blossoming here. Patience will definitely be a virtue. You will reap what you sow and it looks really good. It looks like you're going to be reaping something good. So let's have a look. Leo. Whoa. Leo for February, please. The night of Earth, so you were being looked after, you're being guarded in your endeavours. Time to buckle down and get things done on your commitments, the guardian angel. I do feel like I'm so, I, there is some Leos that have got commitment issues. So you might want a relationship, but it, you could be scared of having a proper relationship. Um, there's also some Leos that, that need to buckle down and actually get things done, commit to something. Um, you could be pulling in an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, but it is about a guardian angel. It's someone having your back, whether that be on the earth plane or in 5D in spirit. You know, someone's, someone's watching over you. So, got two. So the challenge, we've got the page of water. A new person enters your life. A relationship begin, begins a new phase. Heart and psychic abilities. So it's to allow someone new in. And then we get the Ten of Water, a content and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs being met in a trustworthy relationship. So there's a lot of water energy there. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, you could have been hurt in the past with the, the challenge wanting a trustworthy relationship. That might be why you're a bit scared of letting someone else in and the commitment and things like that. Um, if it's to do with finances... Your spirit guides are saying buckle down and get it done. There's got to be a balance in life, though, between fun and finance. Um, so make sure if you've got a family and things like that, that there's a balance. I know everyone's doing a balancing act at the minute with finances, but there's got to be equal give and take, um, time with your partner, time with your children and the business, because it does look like things are going really well for some of my yours in business. Um so why is this coming around now for Leo? King of Earth. Definitely could have an Earth sign around you. Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo. A successful time confidently accepts an opportunity you're offered. The mind as touch. So at the minute, everything you're touching is turning to gold. <laughs> you know, so you could be bringing someone in who's very generous, you know. But then again, the King of Earth is professional, responsible. You could have Earth in your chart. You could be that. You could. This could be you at the minute. You could be in your Earth element. So recent past, page of fire. So your energy, getting all excited about something, something new. It could be someone or something new. News of an exciting new endeavour. Use your originality and ingenuity. So you, there's something about you that's different or you're doing something that's different. But it's something outgoing. It's something creative. It's something exciting. Unless someone's come in and now it's getting a bit serious. You're a bit like, oh. Even if it's business wise, you could be like, ooh, get a bit big, get a bit big. You know, that type of energy. It's uh I love the reading. I feel like you're just in your ego, like it's just fear. Because it's a lovely reading. So at present, the sun. See? And it's your energy as well. Um happy outcomes, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. Again, it's that have that confidence, but I feel like you have to have confidence in the people around you as well. I feel like you're making your own dreams come true. I feel like you've already started doing it. 
but it's just like wavering on that self-doubt like don't block yourself from blossoming as much you know to your full potential near future we've got the six of water uh, memories from history or childhood issues regarding children or romanticizing the past that can usually be someone from the past coming in or it could be someone from the past affecting um your future choices and that's kind of what i was saying earlier about letting something go from the past and don't let it so it could have been someone's opinion it could be that you're you're being quite successful at the minute because we we've got success we've got confidence and someone from the past, say a parent or something like that, maybe someone told you that you wouldn't amount to anything and you're actually doing it. And then ego comes in and reminds you, you're subconscious, you know, you get triggered. I'm kind of getting that feeling, but it's just a trigger. It's just a trigger. Whether it be in relationships or finances, it, it's just a trigger. It's just something from the past, Mercury retrograde, it brings shit back from the past. So to be cleared, I feel like you, you're actually showing people what you're made of. Your power in the situation is the five of water. It's to stop looking over the past and having regrets. Uh, stop thinking that things aren't going to turn out the way you've hoped, you hoped. So the five of water, stop looking over the past. Stop expecting things to go wrong. Outside influence. What's influencing Leo's reading? Communication, the eight of fire. But it could also be within this deck, because I want to clarify it. Events move at a fast pace, delays are over, many things happening at once. You could be really busy and feel like this is like, whoa, a bit too much at the minute. Um, inundated type thing, overwhelmed. So it could be communication, unless someone's firing messages at you constantly, and that's what's making you feel a bit overwhelmed. Hope Sophia is the emperor. Being organised, logical, structured, discipline, leadership. I do feel like this is like business and things, finances. Getting in control of your life as well. Your outcome is just this. You you are ripping what you deserve. Com comic contracts, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your place. It's a justice card. So it's about getting what you deserve. We've got Libra energy there. So the Knight of Earth. So you do have a guardian angel. So we have the Emperor and we've got the King of Wands. So you could be in your masculine energy, whether you're feminine, it doesn't matter. Uh, we've got the emperor there being being your own boss it could be that or it could be that you're feeling if it's relationship wise you might be a little bit too independent and you might not want to let someone in because the challenge is about new people and new opportunities yeah see don't be afraid to branch out you can stay grounded but you're allowed to branch out the challenge is to kind of stop blocking yourself so the king of earth being why is it coming around now? Cards are sticking. King of Earth. Ace of Cups. So it looks like you're doing what you love. Um, some of my Leo's are drinking too much. It could start affecting finances or it could affect the work life. Um, that's only for a few. But the others, I feel like it's about letting love in. It's about getting emotionally stable, doing what you love, putting yourself into what you love, your heart into what you love. Yeah, the Page of Cups allowing new energy in. So the Page of Fire in the recent past. I do feel like that some of yours need to be careful with the drinking. Like 100%. Um, yeah, the Six of Water is stuff coming back from the past. So if there's been issues with alcohol in the past, you need to be careful because, or it could be someone around you. Maybe you need the professional advice with the King of Earth there. Take the professional advice. I'm picking up alcohol. Um, so recent past, we've got the five of pentacles in reverse. So that's being unblocked. That's unblocking yourself, uh, getting excited, new starts. So we're in Aquarius now, we've got the star, we've got a blessing. So it's like you've been offered a blessing, you've been given a blessing, something to grow from. So the sun at the minute, there's nothing to worry about. The four of swords. So it's about rest and rejuvenation. We've got the six of pentacles, so equal give and take. Uh, things balance, gives us time and effort. So the six of water, what's this about? The six of swords in reverse. 
Right, so usually that's going from stormy waters to smoother waters. There's something from the past hitting here, like a bit of a tidal wave. What's this about? The Knight of Pentacles. Something that was slow moving. Communication coming in where you feel like you need to justify yourself. I kind of want to say don't justify yourself. Don't get it. Choose your battles wisely. Don't react. I don't know why that is. Um the king of pentacles so it could be an earth sign that you're reacting to or it could be like a memory like i was saying before like someone said something to you in the past um this is like a, this is trigger there could be a trigger and it puts you back in your ego don't be triggered and especially don't drink your problems away um so your power in the situation being the five of cups it's the nine of swords get out of your head don't overthink things because things look really good outside influence the eight of fire the two of pentacles in reverse so juggling no no more juggling no more juggling emotions ace pentacles so you're being offered something stable secure there could be a lump sum there could be finances coming in uh something secure and stable we've got the three of swords uh in reverse so that's healing it's about healing there could be apologies uh needed to be given or someone might apologize you might need to apologise to someone, they might need to apologise to you. That type of energy. Judgment. So, and we've got justice here as well. There could be a court, there could be something legal going on, but it's use your judgment correctly. Do what you know is right with the justice card there. Someone's going to be served some kind of karma here. Let me clarify the judgment and the justice. What's this about? The Four of Cups. See, why do I keep picking up alcohol? Four of Cups. Um, it's like you're missing out, scared of missing out on something. Or So we've got the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Looks like there's a legal thing going on here. We've got the Moon. Release any fear that holds you back. But the Moon can also be secrets. And the Ten of Wands, burdens. So are you keeping your burdens secret? You might feel burdened at the minute and you're kind of keeping it secret. I feel it's just whilst we're in Mercury retrograde though because everything's looking fantastic. It's just this issue here that's come up here. That's uh, confused me. Queen of Pentacles, look after them who look after you. That's kind of what I'm going to say on this. Because I'm not sure what's going on there. Everything's going on Kidore, but it's like something comes back to trigger you or... Yeah, or someone's try, going to try and come in and cause some kind of trouble. But don't react. We've got justice and judgment here together, so that's, that's, yeah, that's karma anyway, so... I'd be, I'd be staying clear of it, not getting involved in it, and keep just keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Stay balanced. Stay balanced. If this is finances, this, this is looking fantastic. If this is um, love, this, this... I know the Devil card hasn't come out, but with the Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups being together there, I'm picking up strong alcohol. So, and with the justice, justice, there could be something legal that won't be for all my Leos. Um, just be careful, especially if you, or if you have a drink and you drive in the day after or something like that. Uh, just be careful of that because I'm not sure where I'm going with that. So you'll have to let me know in the comments when it does happen, whoever it is to. Um, but like I'm saying, track, don't, don't go there. Uh, so I hope that helps someone out there. That were a bit more confusing that one, weren't it? Uh, but business-wise, it looks fantastic. Go for it. Okay, bye.